So this is what happened. They left. First, he broke the boat. Second, he killed an innocent person. And then, now Prophet Musa is telling him, yes, if I ask again, you have the excuse to say, do not be with me. And this is what happened between those to prophets and Almighty Allah had allowed this miracle to happen so that we, the followers of prophets and messengers, will take lessons. What are the lessons that one could glean from this story or in the verses recited? Number one, knowledge is sought, it doesn't seek. You have to travel to get it. And even if you are doing it online, you have to make sure that you prepare ahead of time. Waiting for the teacher to arrive online is actually going to it. Not the teacher being online and you're not there. Even though that's not the best method of learning, but the world had accepted it. And if you say to a person, don't learn online, he may think like you, like the Dajjal or Zindiq. So in any case, Make sure you travel to knowledge whenever, whenever able, whenever possible. Because knowledge is sought, it doesn't seek. Two, when you go to the Shaykh, you have to try your best not to find or investigate the faults of the Shaykh. Do not do that. I mentioned this also in my book, The Sublime Character, that Al Hirz Institute used as our curricular to prepare students before they begin learning. 